And I'm going to start working on Dorothy's hair in the Christmas and Oz stocking. And a lot of times there are dolls, or even female, stocking kits. Uh, where you do have to do some hair and uh, it's not a very easy thing to do or figure out so I thought I'd stumble my way through it and show you how I do it. Um, one of the first things you have to do is cut up the yarn that's provided in the kit to the size needed. In this kit it wants 29 inch lengths so the best way to do that was to take one strand, fold it in half, and cut it. I would do five strands at one time just to show here. Cut it in half. Fold those in half. Cut it. So each strand will give you four lengths, about nine inches long. So I did that with five strands and here they are. The next thing I did was I marked a center line with a pencil on the head of where I'm going to stitch this down. I'm going to try and keep it straight and that'll help me. If you've watched my videos before you'll know I like to I like to bury this knot so it doesn't show and we're going to stitch the hair down starting it said 3 8 of an inch uh, from the top of the eyes so that's about here. So I'm going to pull my knot through, good, and it has stayed right there. And I'm going to grab, I had these all neat and I uh, made a first attempt and didn't like how it came out. So now they're just kind of a mess, which doesn't really matter. As long as I don't actually sew into the yarn itself, I can adjust it after I've you'll kind of see as I go. But I'm going to stitch each strand in and uh, so that's why that little line is important there and I'm going to put one down, grab another one. Yeah, it's going to it's not going to be the quickest thing you've ever done. And uh, probably shouldn't have come right up in the middle there. I was thinking about coming back up where I first started. Oops. And doing the next one down on that. I'm going to go off to the side here. I don't need to be right in the middle there. Come back up in the middle. I just barely had an, I had uh, just barely enough yarn left in my kit when I got to this point to do Dorothy's hair. So if you don't have enough, by the time you get to this point in your kit, you might have to go buy a strand of her buy a little package of DMC floss. Again, I'm just going to do one strand in, come back where I started the last one. <clears throat> I'm trying to get them to really lay thickly in here. Um, So this is going to be covered up on the side when we make a braid for Dorothy's hair. So we won't see these off to the side. Okay, this is a, like I said, I'm not really following the directions. I did that the first time around and it just didn't come out thick enough. So in thinking about it, I wanted to make it thicker so I'm trying to layer things a little more thickly. OK, 
Okay, I'm making my way through Dorothy's hair and I'm getting closer to the end so I thought I'd let you join in with me again and try and do a better job of explaining what I'm doing. But what I'm realizing as I go is I'm going to need more than 20 strands of this uh, nine inch segment piece of these nine inch segment pieces to make me happy when I get back here because I'd really like her hair to go farther back here but let me just go over what I'm doing because I like it thicker uh, than what the pattern calls for so I come up where I'm going to start a stitch just like if I had started in the very beginning and I try and lay the hair down at the midpoint of the strand and it's easier said than done. And I stitch that, put another stitch in right behind where I came up, trying to look at the pencil line I drew. And I'm trying to hide my stitches underneath the hair. I stitch it. I've hidden my and see I'm just got a little jumble of st stitches back here where I'm hiding. I'm going to come back up right where I came up to lay that stitch in and I'm going to put a second strand there to try and make it thicker. So I'm realizing I'm going to go through those 20 strands and um, so there's not going to be enough thread provide, provided in the kit to do it the way I think it should be done because uh, I only have like three more strands and it's not going to cover that area. So uh, I robbed some uh, floss that I had in another kit. I'm starting a new set so I'm coming up right behind where I left off. And Laying one in, pull my stitch off to the side to secure it, and I've thought of a way to kind of make this look even at the end. I'm going to come right back up where I started this stitch and add a second one in that spot to make it nice and thick. And I'm going to come as close to stitching where I was. Okay. So I was able to rob some more from another kit. If you don't have another kit, you might just have to go out and buy a skein uh, to get it thicker. I really don't need that much more. You know, maybe five more strands will, or six more strands will do it, so another length. So I'll do those, and then I'll let you see how I finish it up. 